Good afternoon and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town and we're here today for the always pleasant task of welcoming five new uh, police recruits to the best police force in the state of New Jersey. Let me quickly introduce some people in the audience here. All the way to the right is Council President and First Ward Councilwoman Nancy Drum. To her left is Councilman at Large and uh, retired PD uh, Officer uh, Brian Small. To his left is Fifth Ward Councilwoman uh, Debbie Meehan. To her left is Chief Law Enforcement Officer Roy Hoppick. To his left is Deputy Dir Police Director Joe Niski. And to his left, uh, Director Bob Hubner. And again, I want to say how proud I am of this force. Uh, we say it over and over again, they're the best force in the state, and every day they go out and prove it. So you gentlemen are joining what I truly believe is the best force in the state of New Jersey. So let's begin with Patrolman Patrick McGeehan. Police Officer Patrick McGeehan, 23, is a lifelong resident of Colonia. Officer McGeehan attended Colonia High School from September of 06 through June of 010 and obtained his high school diploma. Officer McGeehan continued his education after graduation, attending Stockton University where he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in criminal justice in 2014. Officer McGeehan comes to the Woodbridge PD from Weldon Concrete in Westfield where he was employed since May of 2011. Officer McGeehan graduated from the Monmouth County Police Training Academy and will take up assignment in the Radio Patrol Division. Mr. Mitch, please do the swearing in. Put your hand on the Bible. You place your left hand on the Bible. Raise your right hand. Do you, Patrick McGeehan, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you will bear faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and you will faithfully, impartially, and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the office of police officer according to the best of your ability? So help you God. I do. Congratulations, Patrick. Thank you. Welcome to Many times I know the officers, but I can actually say I've known Patrick probably since he was a little kid. Eddie and uh, I went to grammar school together, um, so we're, we go back a long ways. Officer Adam Kazowick. Police Officer Adam Kazowick, 23, resident of Ford, is a resident of Fords. Officer Kazowick is a 2011 graduate of Bishop R. High School in Edison. Officer Kazowick earned a bachelor's degree from Kane University, where he majored in accounting. Prior to becoming a Woodbridge police officer, Officer Kaswick was a mechanic for Gary's Precision Automotive Repair, which is a town business located in Fords. Kaswick graduated from the Monmouth County Police Training Academy and will take up assignment in the Radio Patrol Division. Mr. Mitch. Do you, Adam Kaswick, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you will bear faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, that you will faithfully, impartially, and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the Office of Police Officer according to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. Welcome to the Another guy I've known for a while, back in uh, 2007, he was a seventh grader doing Shadow of the Mayor. And now he's a police officer, so that's pretty cool. But call Officer Justin Nerney, 27, is a resident of Woodbridge. Officer Nerney is a 2006 graduate of Woodbridge High School. Come on. Officer Nerney has earned over 80 college credits from Johnson & Wales University in Rhode Island and is close to securing a BA. Officer Nerney comes to the Woodbridge PD from Rick Richard Lucas Chevrolet in Avenel, where he held the position of service advisor. Officer Nerney graduated from the Monmouth County Police Training Academy and will take up assignment in the Radio Patrol Division. Mr. Mitch. Welcome aboard. Let's come up. Do you, Justin Nerney, solemnly swear that you'll support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you'll bear faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, that you will faithfully, impartially, and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the Office of Police Officer according to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, sir.
Patrol Officer Jeffrey Schott, 24, is a resident of Colonia. Officer Schott graduated from Colonia High School in 2009. Prior to becoming a Woodbridge Police Officer, Officer Schott served this community working for the Woodbridge Police Department as a 911 telecommunications operator, as well as serving as an EMT with various first aid squads within the township. Officer Schott graduated from the Monmouth County Police Training Academy and will take up assignment in the Radio Patrol Division. Mr. Mitch. You, Jeffrey Schott, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you will bear faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and you will faithfully, impartially, and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the Office of Police Officer according to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, sir. Thank Welcome. you. Police Officer Jake Fasano, 23, is a resident of Woodbridge and a 2011 graduate of Woodbridge High School. Officer Fasano earned a bachelor's degree from Rutgers University where he majored in psychology. Prior to becoming a Woodbridge police officer, Officer Fasano served this community as a Woodbridge auxiliary police officer. Fasano graduated from the Monmouth, Monmouth County Police Training Academy and will take up assignment in the Radio Patrol Division. Mr. Mitch. My mom. Do you, Jake Fasano, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you will bear faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and you will faithfully, impartially, and justly enforce all the laws and perform all the duties of the Office of Police Officer according to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I also want to congratulate the parents that are here. I mean, it just says a lot about you that you raised uh, these young men. It's not easy to become a Woodbridge police officer. It's really not. You've got to obviously pass a, a written test, score very well, really well. There's a lot of competition, and then you've got to go through all kinds of different, you have obviously the academy and, and different types of exams and tests, and here they are now graduated, so you really should feel very, very proud. I'd now like to uh, call up uh, Chief Law Enforcement Officer Roy Hoppick, who is going to present um, the Woodbridge Police Officer of the Year for the first quarter. Mike. Officer Michael Tapia, having achieved all the criteria set forth by the Woodbridge Police Department, is hereby awarded Police Officer of the first quarter for the year 2016. Officer Tappy has distinguished himself as a role model for the department by his commitment to excellence and his enthusiasm to protect and serve the residents of Woodbridge Township. Officer Tappy strives to better himself and the image of the police department and establishes positive relationships when coming in contact with the public. Officer Tappy, although a member of the Radio Patrol Division of the Woodbridge Police Department, also serves as a crisis negotiator for the police department's special operations team. During the first quarter of 2016, Officer Tappy responded to a check the welfare call and upon arrival found that a 14-year-old male had locked himself in a bedroom with a knife and was threatening to kill himself. Officer Tappy, utilizing his crisis negotiation skills, was able to establish a dialogue, ultimately convincing the young man to put down the knife and agree to go to the hospital for care, ending a dangerous situation. Officer Tappy, during the first quarter of 2016, made a number of arrests for driving while intoxicated and remain proactive in his patrol duties, and as noted by his supervisor, left his meal break to assist other officers in apprehending an individual who committed a theft at Woodbridge Center who had fled the scene. In addition to the above cited actions, Officer Tapia during March of 2016 responded to a first aid call and found a 20-year-old woman who had overdosed on heroin was unresponsive. Officer Tapia and his partner provided first aid and administered naloxon, which resulted in the victim regaining consciousness and being transported to the hospital. As quoted by his nominating supervisor, Officer, Tap Officer, Officer Tapia's commitment to teamwork makes him a great officer in the police department. Got it. Congratulations. 
Thank you very much. I'd like to call up John Correcchia, the chief of the Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Res uh, Rescue Services. John. Oh, there he is. John's going to help me uh, award a couple of uh, life-saving uh, proclamations. Police Officer Craig Paul Hamas. On February 16, 2016, Police Officer Craig Paul Hamas, while conducting assigned patrol responsibilities, responded to a call for assistance at the Thomas Edison Rest Area on the New Jersey Turnpike, reporting that a 38-year-old male who was a passenger in a motor vehicle was in cardiac arrest. Police Officer Paul Hamas located the victim and determined that the individual was in cardiac arrest, was not breathing, and had no pulse. Implementing training and experience, Officer Paul Hamas initiated CPR and attached the AED automatic, automated external defibrillator, at which time Officer Paul Hamas further determined that the individual had ingested heroin, which required the deactivation of CPR and AED and the immediate administration of two doses of Naxalone, which served to initiate a pulse and revive a heartbeat. The victim was then transported to waiting EMTs for further emergency medical assistance and transport to the hospital. Whereas police officer Paul Hamas is hereby recognized for his dedication to public safety and is honored before the Woodbridge Police Department fellow officers in our community. Congratulations, Officer Paul Hamas. As a token of our appreciation for what you did, Thank you. for the Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Rescue Squad and for the community. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, come over. We'll get a shot here. <coughs> Got it, Lou? All right. Congratulations. You want to say anything? Okay, all right. I'm going to put this back. Okay, now I'd like to also call up police officer Michael Delisanti. And I know he's not here, but police officer Adrian Valentino. And it's the same uh, proclamation for both. On December 22nd, 2015, police officer Michael Delisanti and Adrian Valentino, while conducting patrol responsibilities, responded to a call for assistance at Coventry Court Apartments in the Island section of the township, which reported that a 70-year-old man was having difficulty breathing and may be in cardiac arrest. The officers determined that the patient was unresponsive, not breathing, and had no pulse. And then the officers, in concert with, with, with Valentino and Delisanti, initiated CPR and attached the AED. The AED activated, instructing the officers to administer one shock to the patient and to continue CPR while moving the patient downstairs to waiting EMTs from the Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Rescue Squad for further medical assistance and transport to the hospital where the patient survived. And whereas the officers are hereby recognized for their dedication to the public safety and are honored before the Woodbridge Township Police Department, fellow officers and community. Congratulations, Mike. Thanks, sir. Token of our appreciation for everything you did. The Woodbridge Thank you. Mr. Scott. Good picture. We'll save that for uh, yeah. Adrian. Come on over. <coughs> Congratulations again. Yeah. Sir. I can't imagine there's a better feeling than knowing someone's alive because of something you did. That's just, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So congratulations to these police officers again. Uh, I'd like to now ask our police director, Bob Hopner, if you'd like to say a few words. Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Gentlemen, congratulations. Welcome to the police department. As you can see, you're joining some outstanding officers. You're going to work with some of the best and brightest in law enforcement. You have a mayor who supports you, council who supports you. But make no mistake, when you put your hand on that Bible today and uh, took your oath to office, your life has changed. You're going to be under the microscope, and that's fine. We expect all our officers to work by the book. So uh, congratulations. When you, you're going to meet people who are in crisis. Um, your impression on them is what they are going to think of our police department. So treat people the way you would want to be treated or your family, you'd want your family treated. Congratulations, and have a great career. Anybody else? You guys good? 
All right, well, thank you very much. Congratulations again to the five new officers. It's a great day. Go out and celebrate. But remember, you got a ceremony tomorrow at the Academy, too, to graduate from there. So uh, congratulations again.